Hi, I'm Angela Miller with Vertical Measures. Oftentimes, content planning gets overlooked when looking to update or, or build a new website. It's more fun to look at the graphics, to look at the look and feel of the website. But unfortunately, with the implementation of Google's Penguin, uh, more and more emphasis is being placed on content, quality content, and how it affects user uh, search experience. So what does this translate? It means that you, as a website owner, needs to really focus in on quality content and ultimately quality content planning. So one of the questions we were asked is, what are some of the good techniques to follow for website content planning? First and foremost, it's important to have the mission of your website. So what is it that you're ultimately wanting to do? sell more products, educate com your customers about a new technology, are you looking to expand your brand? Next, who's your target audience or audiences? Uh, what is the profile? Uh, what is their ages, uh, potential gender profile, maybe bu buying or purchasing behavior? You need to understand your audience and how it is um, with their interaction with you um, and your uh, products and services. Last, it's really important to start researching. Uh, one of my colleagues, Kayla Strong, actually did a very uh, good um, content planning and research uh, blog very recently on June 26th that I definitely recommend you take a look at. By researching in, within your industry, understanding what content has actually worked well gives you a good baseline to build on that success. Next, you want to get all the experts in the room. This could be engineers, uh, it could be client services, customer service people. You want to get a lot of different heads in a room to start your idea generation. Um, you want to provide them with note cards, whiteboards, scraps, scraps of paper and tape. Ultimately, you're all brainstorming, coming up with ideas uh, and storyboarding out what your website is going to look like or what we call a wireframe put all these ideas up on a board, and then start to organize that information. So think about the different sections or, or, or categories where there, some of these ideas have some similarities, such as product, an about us section, news, education, etc. Now it starts to, you have to start getting into the details. So now that you've got all the ideas on the, up on the board, you really need to kind of drill down and understand what is the purpose of that page, uh, what user action do you want as an outcome? So ultimately, when a person is on that particular page about that piece of content, what kind of behavior are you looking for them to drive? Do you want them to sign up to um, see a demonstration? Do you want them to download a free guide? Do you want them to watch a video? So ultimately understand what actions you want. How will you present the content? So now you're going back to that target audience profile and understanding how they like to um, consume uh, information. Understand, is it better to use a video? Is it better potentially to have it as a blog or a news post that goes out on an RSS feed? You know, understand how it is you're going to deliver that content information. And then ultimately, you have to go back up against your mission and your target audience and make sure that um, those ideas align with your mission and uh, target audience. Don't be afraid to throw things out. If there's duplicate information, if the purpose of the page isn't clear, it's OK to throw that idea away and pare down to what's really important. Last but not least, it's one of the uh, where a lot of the work is actually really done. We recommend that you create an editorial calendar. So um, in that editorial calendar, actually Mike Huber, another colleague of mine, actually put together a great video post on developing an editorial calendar for your blog. But there's a lot of great tips you can pull out of that as well um, to apply towards your website content. But ultimately, you know, in your editorial calendar, make sure you identify who the page owner is. It's always important to have an owner of that particular page. Uh, start with a title that gives sort of the topic or guide for the page so you make sure that the content ties back to that title. Set up your keywords, you know, have a couple of keywords that you're looking to build for, on for search engine optimization. And then also make absolutely sure that the owner of that page understands the page's purpose, uh, the audience that uh, they're trying to address, and ultimately the call to action, what you want that audience to do once they're completed in, in, in reading that page. Um, so we hope that that helps you uh, in developing website content to plan for your, uh, for your website. And uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.